Hi, I'm John Schultz, owner of JDS Home Inspection Services in Denver, Colorado. When you purchased your new home, your real estate agent or home inspector may have asked if you'd like to have a radon test performed. It may seem like one more added expense and just another fee, but I'm here to tell you, radon is a very serious concern in Colorado. About 40 years ago, it was discovered that radon exposure was the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. Radon is a radioactive gas produced from the breakdown of plutonium and uranium deep underground. This gas permeates through the ground and gets trapped in crawl spaces and basements where homeowners get exposed to it. Colorado is one of many states with high levels of radon due to the granite in the Rocky Mountains. Nationwide, one in 15 houses test for high levels of radon. In Colorado, that number jumps to one in three. Colorado is part of what's called Uranium Alley. In fact, all of the plutonium used in the Manhattan Project was mined here in Colorado. There isn't a single county in Colorado that doesn't record high levels of radon. So how dangerous is it? Well, radon exposure, it's a lot like smoking cigarettes. Its effects are cumulative. So for example, smoking one cigarette a day for a week isn't going to cause you too many long-term health problems. But smoking three packs a day for 20 years is going to cause some issues. Since you spend most of your time at home, it's good to know what you and your family might be exposed to. Radon is colorless, odorless, and otherwise undetectable without a test. Most radon testing machines record for 48 hours straight and supply you with an average of those readings. This is needed as radon levels fluctuate throughout the day. Readings are affected by temperature, humidity, ground saturation, barometric pressure, and lots of other factors. If your home tests above 4 pictocurians per liter, the EPA does recommend installation of a radon mitigation system. This is less complicated than it sounds. It's basically a tube that runs from below the foundation to a fan that pulls radon from below the surface before it has a chance to enter the living space. This air is deposited above the eaves of the roof, completely bypassing the house. That's it. The cost of installing a radon mitigation system depends on the layout of the house, the crawl space, and the basement, so calling a radon mitigation contractor is necessary. Once installed, check the meter every once in a while. The meter shows whether a vacuum is being maintained, which is important for the system to function. The meter should always be offset. If the two sides are even, that means the system is no longer functioning properly and it's time to call the installer. If your home tests below 4.0 pictocurians per liter, your home falls below the EPA recommended action level. So your house should be fine without a mitigation system. However, I still recommend having a radon test performed every two years just to make sure that doesn't change. I personally recommend a radon test, even with an installed mitigation system, just to make sure the unit is still working. Just because the fan is running doesn't mean it's removing radon. Radon is actually such an issue nationwide that February was designated as National Radon Awareness Month. So if you haven't had a test done lately, or at all, I recommend having one done as soon as possible. Thanks for listening, and be sure to check out our other videos for helpful tips on other home-related subjects.